Okay, question answers marathon today with the uh, magic uh, talking friends Bardem. Answered seven questions, three to go. Number eight How to evaluate oneself? Okay, that's, the English is not perfect. Let me try to rephrase it. Okay, once you complete it. Okay, I'm just going to read it and, and try to work through it. Verbatim, it's how to evaluate oneself so one complete one step with full competence and avoid self-delusion. Okay, so this is about... So Barden, he's like, okay, this... In the first book, this is like this 10-step course. There's never been anything like it before. It's, it's gonna be I'm gonna make it a lot easier for you. Um, you don't need a guru and so on. And here's the first step. Here's the second step. Um, these are your goals. Well, sometimes he tells you and sometimes also the goals are a little bit over the top in my personal opinion. But uh, a lot of what I said in my answers to your previous questions also applies here. Make it your own. I'm gonna repeat repeat the story. Um, what my what my teacher Ron says about about that topic. Uh, don't dwell on it too much. Now he he's saying that uh, for steps one and two. He he has a fairly rigid um, uh, opinion on what should happen after these steps. Um, like you should really try to to adhere to Barton's goals um, whatever even if they're fairly uh, foggy and hazy sometimes um, my personal opinion and experience is um, set your own goals meditate on what you want to achieve in each step Try to grasp the essence of the exercises. Don't be like a school kid. A teacher, please give me the test. If I pass the test, I will know I'm on the next level or whatever. Or yeah, like or martial arts. Yeah, you do. You do the karate kata. You're good at it. Uh, you get your red belt or whatever. Too rigid. Too rigid. This is, we are working to find the core of things, the core of ourselves, which also means, as within, so without, the core that lies underneath this world, and the core is not to be found on the mental level. The mental plane is just an... It is a plane of form and that's not... That's not what you are, what I am at our core. Yes, uh, mastery over the mental and the other planes is it is a thing it is a goal and um, it is it is part of the teachings but you're not supposed to get lost in your mind <laughs> emphasis no and to to avoid self delusion you have to be aware of your unconscious patterns. That's the way to avoid self-delusion. And these unconscious patterns, they go both ways. It, it's polarity again. Like, on the one hand, and that's why the ast this astral soul mirror work and equilibrium is so important. One hand, you might be the guy who says, oh, yeah, 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 I, I did the emptiness of mind exercise for, for like... Um, for like 30 seconds and that's good enough right uh, i can move on now so that's that's one end of the spectrum maybe uh, of course these are infinite these stretch to infinity right but let's 
let's have our bookends here, okay? Just for sake of simplicity. So there's one guy who says, um, yeah, I dabbled a bit. Oh, I'm, I can do it now, for sure. And then there's, there's the other guy who says, like, oh, shit, I, I worked at Step 10 now for, for 20 years, and uh, I still feel I, I, I don't really get it. I don't really get it. I, I gotta practice more. So two extremes. Find your own sweet spot. And um, work on your... Well, avoiding delusions is recognizing delusions. And it's um, working to transmute them. Transmute unconscious patterns. Delusion is rooted in unconsciousness. Do the shadow work with the black mirror. And... Uh, Do emptiness of mind and thought observation. Observe yourself. Be in your body. Unite all your body's mental fire, uh, willpower, will, sorry. Fire, your fire body, will, your air body, the mental, your water body, the astral, the earth body. If you... Just I, I just like to illustrate what it means to be really present with all the bodies, with all your consciousness. How many times did you sit down to eat, like me, and uh, pretty much uh, everyone else on this planet? How many times did you sit down, start eating, suddenly you, you munch away, But, but but you're somewhere else. Suddenly you realize, oh, the plate is empty. The meal is over. Uh, I'm no longer hungry. Uh, what what happened past couple minutes? Oh, I got lost in thought. I, my mental body traveled. And the problem is, if you and that's not just when eating. That's just one example. There's this pattern in the human psyche, in the human consciousness, still very strong. It says, I don't want to be here. And that's a problem. If you spend your, your whole life disconnected from the physical, traveling around in your mental and astral bodies, and not to learn something, but because you want to avoid the parts of yourself, parts of your life. It's like you're standing in line, you're washing the dishes. Oh man, that sucks. I'm gonna... Get out of here. <laughs> And uh, this this way makes it this makes it very hard to deal with your delusions because what you're saying is I don't want to take a look at these things. It's messy. Oh shit, I'm bored or, or I'm I'm depressed or whatever. I'm gonna tr go traveling. And this can take a form on the physical as well. I am not happy with this country. Oh, my apartment is so small, it's dirty and old or whatever. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is travel somewhere else. And oh my, this feels good. Um, now I'm not, I'm not knocking traveling, uh, mental, astral or physical. I'm just saying, if it is done out of a motivation of avoidance and unconsciousness, that's a big problem. One of the biggest problems of humanity right now. Uh, fortunately, one that is that is changing right now. But yeah, that's the vo way to avoid self-delusion. And I know it's hard. It's easy getting lost in thought. It's such a strong and heavy pattern, uh, deeply ingrained. Um, if you wanna, if you wanna know more about that, I would recommend. Um, reading and listening to Eckhart Tolle. He's a very good teacher for that. That's my powerful, I think, answer to your question. Thank you for listening. <laughs>